I'm not even sure he can get out. Well, you can get out that way. It's hilarious. He's stuck in there at the moment. Erg. Uh, silly mechanic problem after silly mechanic problem. Um, I guess I could. He can't do anything from there. I guess I could practice my magic missile on him. <laughs> Magic Missile! Oh yeah. Put away Crowbar. Magic Missile! Hunting Horror is close. Ignore. It worked. We gained a level. Let's get closer to it. How you doing, hunting horror? Getting close. Taking advantage of the fact that uh, apparently he counts as an animal and he won't break furniture or vehicles or anything like that. Down to one. Seems like an appropriate target for our magic missile learning phase. Come on, drop him already. <laughs> Come on, game. What if I missed him like 19 times in a row here? Two damage. Oh, come on now. <laughs> He's got no bars left and now he starts fleeing. That's bullcrap. <laughs> now I want it. Wish I left the doors in. Whoops. Now he's going to come finish me off. <laughs> okay, I burned, what, uh, 2,000 uh, mana trying to kill this guy so far? And there he goes again. Once again, I can't quite get to him. Ah, this is getting... Pretty irritating. Cancel! Alright. <laughs> He's had no bar for a while now, and I still can't drop him. Is he going to come back again? No, that time he kept on running. It's going to show back up when I try to go get the items. Alright, I'm wasting time. Can't afford to waste. Yeah, and he's just sitting up there waiting for me. Let go of the controls. Turn the Heelys off. Like the canteen. Like the lantern. Yep, here he comes. No. I don't understand why I can't kill the guy. He's been at zero bars for I don't know how long now. I'm hitting for two, three, three. There's something special I need to know about hunting horse. Oh. Did he die? Mm, or is he... I don't know if he died or what. I don't see a message about him disappearing. Hmm. Did he go up a, a Z level and he's going to drop back down on top of my face here in a second? Because I'm going to get pretty annoyed if he does. Ah. Uh... Where the canteen? Grab the other canteen. Definitely want the binoculars. And we'll take the inhaler. 
Right. <clears throat> well, I'm not sure what was going on there. That uh, that was some odd stuff. Let's dump the canteen. Uh, so we're at level two of magic missile now. At some point, I'm gonna get a chance to actually read and skill those up. But we're still on our manic quest for antibiotics or uh, royal jelly. Evac shelter. Well, more fungus. So I got fungus to the southwest. I got fungus to the northeast. <laughs> it's kind of funny the way it's sitting right at the end of the trail there, or what looks like it's sitting right at the end of the trail. All right, let's uh, go across to the other. Mm. No, I'm not going to stop and make the uh, various tools and implements. Kind of irrelevant for the moment. All right, another town... Another football field. That's not good. Grocery stores do have a small um, medical supply counter or section. Apartment complex. And the roadway is wedged into forest and forest. Maybe I can get through here to look around. Let's go this way first, though. All right, shock zombie. Hard to get a look at the uh, possible zombie master supply that may be on the football field without seeing further into it. But I'm not liking what I'm seeing in this direction, so let's just uh, back out of here. Facing fungus houses. Maybe there's a way through here. Boarded up windows. Empty lots. Guaranteed have to go pretty much right into downtown. I'm not going to be able to get past the pool or the lots or here, so I'd have to go through all of these zombie hordes to try to make it through this town. So this is also not good. We're kind of wedged in. Unless this goes somewhere, which I suspect this is just going to be a cul-de-sac. My only other option is to uh, go back out this road this direction. I'm not liking what I'm seeing here. There's not enough chances for me to have uh, ambulance luck, not enough dense residential neighborhoods. I've got the fungal mixed in with the regular zombies. we got probably a big pile of zombie masters. Yeah, it's just not a good place. Don't think it's worth the time. We have got 20 liters of gas still. At 6.30, it's going to be dark soon. I need to get to some place that's got a lot of houses because we're about to run out of daylight. <sighs> Man, I really just don't want to go back down into those big cities down there. I don't think I have time to go chasing through the wilderness looking for anything, any better options. As soon as it gets dark, the uh, ambulance hunt is over and it's just house to house. And it's really hard to do when you don't have the area mapped in already. So I have to make a judgment call here. Do I follow the road as fast as I can with the Binox and hope we uh, come to a more likely spot? Or do I roll back south and then... I could have explored more of this and uncovered more of this map so I'd know exactly where I needed to go house to house. I'd be a little more comfortable. Erg. 
This is, this is not a good situation. We've struggled mightily. I, it's looking pretty grim, though, for our chances of uh, getting out of this one. Given the number of houses and ambulances and such we've been into and haven't found a antibiotics yet. Whoa! That turn was a little longer than I thought it would be. Alright, cop car? Or is that the FBI emergency vehicle? They sometimes have fun stuff in the back. Let's go check. What you got back here? FN57 with 14 rounds. Sure, we'll take that. Gas, battery, no security system, no wheels. Can't drive it. Right, leave that right there. Actually, compare. What are we looking at here? 18 armor piercing, 18 damage with the FN versus 0 and 25. But I got a lot of rounds I can fire out of the Glock. Um... I'm going to just keep the lock handy. All right, come on. we got to find some open ground here real fast. All right, it's not helping me. That is the mobile meth lab. Nope, standard RV. If it was mobile meth lab, I'd stop and check for medicine. RV, we're just going to keep going. All right, terrain, open out. Show me some map. Last man on earth shelter doesn't help me. Yeah, the infection is causing constant pain, so it just keeps ratcheting up if I don't keep smashing down vitamins constantly. It'll, uh... Just keep getting higher and higher, which keeps affecting my speed. Plus, we are badly infected now. So we're not just infected, we're badly infected. So it's going to get worse and worse. We're uh, almost 12 hours in. We're, yeah, we're 11 hours into the challenge and we haven't found antibiotics yet. So that's not good. <laughs> Hurricane Isle, big old city name <laughs> for a two house town, maybe, maybe four houses. Uh, come on, have have three ambulances sitting in your little four house town, please. That would uh, that would make me happy. All right, just don't care about the RV. I need mobile meth labs, or uh, uh, another school. Homeless camp. Um, yeah, this is not good. Back up. Let's go south. Ambulances and mobile meth labs. Mobile meth labs, I don't think they have antibiotics, but they have heavy-duty painkillers. Right, let's try to get a peek at any other vehicles up here. So, security van with some gold and silver. I'm not seeing any of the vehicles I need. And that's just the school. Ranch also doesn't help me. Alright, so let me pick a direction. North or south? Which direction am I going? I'll go whichever you guys say first. North it is. Why not check LMOE? Because it's very, very, very unlikely to have the medicine that I need. The one and only goal right now, I have absolute need to get done, is finding antibiotics or royal jelly. Everything else is irrelevant. LMOE shelter does not have antibiotics. I don't think I've ever seen antibiotics in an LMOE shelter. So it's not going to save my life to go there. I'm about to lose the sunlight, so it's going to get dark here real fast. So I'm pretty much in my last uh, 20 minutes <laughs> of light. And as soon as the sun goes down, if I don't have a big city to go try to investigate or to at least uh, run house to house, we're pretty much dead at that point. Another tiny, tiny city. Four whole houses. Arg. And the sun is going to go down. Well, we got to drive by it. Hope for an ambulance. Before the sun fully sets. Um, let's go 
go this way. As you can see, we're already we're losing the sunlight, so. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Turn, turn, turn. Well, there's an ambulance with a basket with one thing in it. So this might be our final spot. <laughs> we got four houses and an ambulance. And after that, we're done. Because I'm nowhere near a large city that I'll have any chance of getting a uh, antibiotic out of. Yes, I can drive along the road with the headlights on. So we'll keep trying, but the likelihood goes way down. Actually, that looks like two ambulances. Is that another ambulance right there? It is. So we have two ambulances and four houses. So we're gonna find a place to park, and we're gonna we're gonna hold out the hope that this is our our miracle. I think I'm gonna park on the far side up here, and then work my way back down into it. So let's bulldog our way through this. Plus a Humvee. Two ambulances and uh, four houses is actually way better luck than I thought I was gonna have. I just want to get somewhere away from the zombies because I don't want to lose my vehicle. So we'll just bring this up here. We'll leave it right here. All right, stop driving. Let's refigure our gear. Um, I'm going to keep the clothing. Keep the book, of course. I don't need the inhaler. Don't need 83 of that on me. Won't need the binox while I'm running around. Actually, hold those for a second. Don't need the rubber hose either. All right, drop the rubber hose and the binox in the front seat. And what do I have to eat? Let's have some chili dogs and some apple cider. And another aspirin. All right, so sun's going down. Oh, hey, look at that. <laughs> we got a miracle so we're not quite dead yet we've got uh, the two ambulances and the four houses to check if that doesn't pan out with antibiotics just up the road we've got another what looks to be a larger uh, town oh I'm so tempted to hop in the car real fast and drive down the road just to unveil a little bit more of that hmm Nah, we'll, we'll, we'll not do it. All right. We'll just use the flashlight to do it. Yeah, it's going to be, uh, what, scalpels and inhalers <laughs> and aspirin. That's what I'm going to find in the ambulances. I think I'm actually going to wait out the uh, sunlight. I'm going to let it get dark, and then I'll approach the town. That way I can uh, move around a little, sort of a little easier. All right, there we go. That's our, our night vision range. It's actually pretty respectable. Unfortunately, I'm losing one because of the pain causing my perception to drop a point. So I've got one less than I should. Plus it's raining. One, two, three, four. Yeah. So normally we should have five. Actually, why do I have five right now? I shouldn't even have five. I should have two from the perception and I should have two from the night vision. I should only have a four night vision range. And then that actually should be restricted by one because of the rain. I should have a three. But I'm not sure why I'm getting four. Whatever. All right. Healy's are currently off. Healy's on, please. Here we go. We're down to the final half. Last 12 hours of the challenge. <laughs> Assuming our uh, immune system doesn't finally decide to give a damn and kick that infection. And I immediately get grabbed <laughs> and hit. Uh, pay better attention for him. We fail to uh, pry bar the window open. Pudding! Uh, let's hold off on grabbing that kind of stuff. Alright, bathroom. Nope. No love here. Stop running, get our stamina back. More cargo pants. Swimming booties! That's what I need, swimming booties. Nothing in that bathroom. A monocle. Ooh, fitted cargo pants. Let's swap out our poor fitted damaged cargo pants for <clears throat> well-fitting perfect condition. All right, first house is done. Ambulance right out the front door if we can get to it cleanly. 
Come on, ambulance. Oh, three baskets. Three baskets. Yeah, have we mutated yet? No, we have not mutated yet. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> Antibiotics! <laughs> and a stethoscope. <sighs> now, we're not done. We're not home free. I can still die. Even with antibiotics, I can still die. Too many times, I've taken antibiotics on the infected type of starts and still died. So it's not done. <laughs> oh yeah, it did say mission complete, didn't it? That's new that it does that now. I had it do it in my test run too, where I killed a zombie and they dropped antibiotics and it told me mission complete. <laughs> oh man, antibiotics, aspirin, bandages, stethoscope. Thank you, thank you. Gas, battery, no wheels. Alright, we are out cleanly. Eat. Antibiotics. And we immediately throw up. <laughs> All right, we have the took antibiotic effect. Yay, but until you guys see this little green indicator go away, we're not done. What that does mean, though, is I could now hole up somewhere and ride it out. See if we just flat out die. <laughs> I'd like to get a little bit more food and uh, hydration before I do that. Because I don't want to spend a whole bunch of time... Running around doing cool things just to die anyway. Um, I mean, doing cool things is fine, but uh, it irks me to know that I have a countdown to death that I cannot do anything about. Absolutely nothing I can do now to affect whether I'm going to live or die. It's all down to random chance on the uh, my immune system being able to fend it off with the benefit of the antibiotics. So... I think the only thing that could possibly help was if I got a hold of yet another gamma globulin shot to boost my immune system. So I'll try to eat as healthy as I can to uh, keep that up. But uh, yeah, still a good chance I can just flat out die with absolutely nothing I can do about it. But until I see that go away, I'm not going to uh, start doing any kind of happy dance. All right, let's see if we can uh, get into the other ambulance, see if there's more goodies. I'm pretty surprised. We've got the uh, stethoscope. We've got the binoculars. Two of the tools that I'm always on the lookout for. We've got a full-on crowbar. So I'm happy about all that stuff. All right. Just a... S that's a basket for not the ambulance. That's the... Oh, that's a security van. So that's going to be a gun. Another Glock. Nah. 40 calibers. Nah. All right. Two baskets. Thorazine, disinfectant, and more bandages. Eh, not bad. I'll take the bandages and the disinfectant. I don't care about the Thorazine for this guy. All right. Yeah, Amorous. That's, that's why I mentioned the Gamma Globulin shot has uh, something that can boost my, my hidden health stat. That, I already took one, so, and we're still on the first day, so it should still be boosted. I don't have the uh, self-aware trait, so I can't uh, just automatically check my status, unfortunately. But, uh, uh I was going to try to check that for gas. Ooh, 12 liters of diesel. So we're back up to 1,800 mana. I think there's more than just that beating on the thing, though. Yeah, there's a whole bunch more than that. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna let them just beat on that. Um, I think we have enough gas to continue surviving, so... Let's head up into the house. Now I gotta be a lot more cautious. Now that we're no longer on the run, 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 we gotta, I gotta switch mindsets. <laughs> Man, strength four trying to pry open this door. Took like eight tries, nine tries. So yeah, things are totally different now. Ooh, we got a basement. What kind of basement? This kind of setup now where I've got um, a basement I can get into cleanly. Now I'm really anxious about what we're going to get out of this basement. <laughs> God damn it. 
Uh, spider basement again. Great for certain times. This isn't one of them. Let's pick up the jar. Don't care, don't care. Alright, so this house is pretty much done. Trying to work our way around cleanly here. Get rid of these last two houses. Flashlight battery, Take the sandwiches, and the tomato. All right, we got plenty of bandages now. to be interested in right now. Alright, another basement. This time we got detected before I could get to it though. Let's see if we can Yeah, he's gonna hear that. Yeah. Gamer basement. Uh, oh, gamer basement with rats. Um, not protected enough to level up my dodge skill off of these rats. They'd be able to nibble me a pretty good amount. Plus, I'm on my heelys. They'd knock me down and then nibble me. Ah, they're coming to get me. Ah! <laughs> Activate. Heelys. Man, there's more in here than I thought there were. Whoa, a lot more than I thought there were. Um, what's my dodge skill? I'm a dodge two. I can't afford it. Normally, I would love this setup. I would love to uh, layer on some useless clothes just to protect them from nibbling. And uh, you notice here, hit your arm, armor protects you, protects you, protects you. They don't hit for very hard damage. So you only need a few layers of clothing on your various body parts, and you can just stand here and let them nibble on you, and you raise your dodge skill really, really quickly. This guy, though, with the damage he's in and the pain he's in and such, I can't afford to take advantage of it. I'm going to note the bath, the basement, though. Gamer basement with, I don't know, eight rats? Something like that. Um, I'd like to use it, but... I need a place to sleep for the night. 9 p.m. This is the last house that we we're going to look at. So we've checked all the houses. I haven't full finished the upper floor yet. <clears throat> Let's see how often they hit me. I'm going to let them swing a bit. So we're at 4% uh, dodge currently. As soon as I get hit, I'm going to move. And I'm not going to let them surround me. <laughs> Oh, so they rip the cargo pants. Still not getting through. Rip the t-shirt. We're now at 8% dodge. So if you're in decent protection, you can just sit here and fast forward time and they'll never hit you. And as long as you got some okay armor and such, you'll take some minor damage to your clothing, but you can level up your dodge skill really, really quickly. I'm not willing to just hold the uh, pass turn key down <laughs> for this particular guy. Um, this might be an entertaining place to uh, practice magic missile. Yeah, let's 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 play. Let's practice magic missile. Back by sewer rat. Ignore. Hit for four. And four wasn't enough to kill it. Moderately injured. Multiple magic missiles to kill it, huh? They actually damaged me that time. Hey, we killed a rat! <laughs> we are Vormithrax Rat Slayer. 
All right, 10% to level three for Magic Missile. Not sure how the progression works and how... Does it change in regard to the XP you get based on what you're targeting? Or is it just a set amount for every single use of the uh, the spell? So if I Magic Missile a Shuggeth, do I get more XP than if I Magic Missile a Sewer Rat? Or is it all the same thing? Hmm. Do I retreat through the door, close one of them, <coughs> excuse me, and then try to beat him to death with a crowbar? Alright, let's, uh, let's do that so no more than two can be on me at once. Let's go ahead and wield the crowbar. much as I'd like to magic missile them to death, I think that's going to take too long. Although, if I keep missing like this, maybe it won't. So I'd like to use this basement to rest in for the night, so... Yeesh! What can we drop? Um... 38. Windbreaker? You're just hard to hit. Wow, maybe I do need to do magic missiles. Uh, two corpses and then a new sewer rat. <clears throat> Found out of stamina. Four, five, six still in sight. Come on, bad rats. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, fine, put that thing away. Oops. I should have used magic missile. Wow, we even got the big book first aid down here. <clears throat> okay, gamer basement. Flashlight on. That's what we're looking at. What did you guys kill? Oh, they killed a sewer snake. Three sewer snakes. Or no, one sewer snake. Alright. Rats are dead. So, we've got... Uh, Furnace and a uh, water heater. We can uh, have some fresh water from the water heater. We've got the toilet. Fruit pies. Herbal tea. All right, we're definitely setting up down here. Okay, let's get our stamina back. 9.49 p.m. So, normally infection timer is 24 hours base. But we've taken antibiotics, that extends the time frame, and I don't know the exact numbers on the extension or if it's based on your health stat or what, but uh, we won't die at 8 a.m. Um, either, let's see, debating do I go back upstairs and grab some stuff out of the car, or do we just stay down here? I've got... Frozen food, other than the sandwich. We can light a fire in the furnace. Hey there, Soldadia. Hmm, yeah, no Rat King down here, thank God. 
I got enough uh, mutations that are going to be happening with the uh, genetic downward spiral. Hasn't hit yet. I expect it to hit uh, by 8 a.m. I think it's every 24 hours it's going to hit. Yeah, I'd have to... If we get the torso infection cured, I'm going to start doing a lot more of uh, what I can do with the magic stuff. Because I can actually read the, uh, the book to uh, skill up. Um, no. There. There's things I can do to, uh, to level. Um, still got the pain. That's because of the bad infection. Yeah, I think I might just, um, Let's see, we've got couches. Let's let's go upstairs and finish re or finish checking this one house. Hopefully, we get up upstairs, then back down again without uh, making a mess. I'm gonna go ahead and leave stuff right here on this table, though. Let's leave that stuff. That stuff. All right, let's finish checking this house out. Hopefully, nothing comes and bugs me while I do. Yeah, toastums is good. Nothing in the computer room. Blanket I want. Oh. Pop zombie. Um. Come here, cop zombie. I'm going to introduce you to my murder basement. Oh, that's right. It's... He's likely to not actually come downstairs with me because of the Z-level thing. Ugh. Can't introduce him to my murder basement. Damn it. Another broken Z-level thing is uh, zombies with Z-levels turned on won't actually follow you directly down the stairs. With Z-levels turned off, as long as they're close, they will follow you down the stairs. Hmm. Alright. Of course, there's a chance the broken Z-level feature will allow him to drop through the floor, or through the ceiling, into the room. Which is one reason why I wanted to make sure I got in here pretty cleanly, so that would not happen much. Alright, so, um, actually, let's grab this stuff. Bring it down here. Wield the crowbar. I damaged my crowbar? I damaged my crowbar killing rats. <laughs> I guess all those misses I was smashing against the floor. Already? <laughs> What's this already stuff? I mean, on this one run, we went from... Where did we start? I think we started... Was it here? I can't remember exactly where we started. Somewhere up in this area. Went down this way, down this way, came across, came back up, went this way, found a car, zipped up to here, checked these, went over here, found a different car, <laughs> went this way, then we dorked around in this place for a while, then we drove up this way, Kept driving, kept driving, and we finally found antibiotics in an ambulance right up here. <laughs> so I don't know about the already part, but uh, yeah, we, we have antibiotics. At one point we had the torso infection and two other bite wounds and unmanageable pain and surrounded by zombies. It's been a bit of an adventure. Oh, we got our hoodie messed up too. We're about to lose our hoodie and the carry capacity from it. That's going to make me sad. All right, good enough, though. Let's gather this stuff up. Um, let's... Oh, that's right, I'm super slow. Super, super low strength. Smashing thing is not going to be easy for me. All right, guess I won't worry about setting a fire source for now. Yeah, let's do it. Anyway. Firewood source... Oh yeah, it's still broke. <laughs> we still haven't fixed that, huh? 
Alright, don't burn the building down, please. You're supposed to be able to do fires and furnaces now. Get a little unhappy if it doesn't work. Alright, seems to be working. Alright, so we've got light, we've got heat, um, we've got our antibiotic in our system. Take another one right before I go to sleep to make sure while we sleep it doesn't wear off and then I keep it overlapping. Um, uh, we've got the defrosted food. Eight out of six. We got an extra two uh, toastums stuffed into the box. Have toastum. Let's have the sandwich. That should do plenty for that. We've got plenty of water that we can drink from the water heater. So we're hydrated. We've got food in us. Uh, that's the hot water heater, and it's got water in it, but it's not hot. <laughs> it's not, it's like a gas run, and there's no gas available for it, but it still has water sitting in it. And then that's the actual furnace, which originally people tried to set fires in and then ended up burning their buildings down, but uh, they changed it finally, so you can't actually safely set fires in the furnace. So right here in this spot, we've got our fire source, our safe fire built burning. We've got our water source for a bit. Plenty enough for our use for the for the night, and uh, we're gonna go sleep over on uh, one of the sofas. We'll take our take our uh, blanket with us to do that. Yeah, so that's the plan. It's ten forty-five. I don't think I'm gonna bother going up to the vehicle. I think I'll just carry what I can out of here in the morning. We'll see if the infection goes away. If it doesn't go away while we sleep, we're in pretty bad sh shape because we're going to have a, whatever the third stage of the infection is, I forget what they call it, but we're going to have a pus-filled infection and uh, a lot of negatives involved. And our chances to stay alive at that point start diminishing pretty hardcore. So it is very possible to die within, with antibiotics. I want to be clear. So a lot of people still hold the old assumption that as soon as you take antibiotics it uh, guarantees you're going to survive the infection and that's not the case. So let's just go to sleep. It's 1045. We're not technically tired but uh, there's not really anything I can do to help things so let's just um... oh yeah I wanted to uh, read that, read that first aid to three, 14 minutes and intelligence. Alright. So, I can study the spell, so let's do a study on phase door. And we can pick, just like reading, you can pick how long you want to do it for. Uh, I think it's going to take too long. I'll just do 30 minutes, then we'll go to bed. So, we gain 190 bags of experience, and... Oh, that's right. Put that away. There we go. The phase door, we made it to a whole 4% progress. So, when we get a chance and some free time, I will uh, study the hell out of that stuff. Get that going. For now, I think it's best just to go to sleep. We're going to have to do the run out of here in the morning, so hopefully we don't have too many things above us. One thing I fear is uh, random zombies dropping through the ceiling and coming down to nibble on me. That would uh, That would be annoying. Okay, I think natural healing will take care of most of that damage if I do manage to sleep through the night. I'm less concerned about the hit point levels than I am about that infection, so I can't really do much to enhance my hidden health stat at this stage. I don't have any particularly healthy food sitting over here. The broth is actually pretty good. Uh, I don't have the pan down here to heat that up, though, I don't think. I can dine on some sewer rat corpse. Yeah, I don't have the pan to uh, defrost here with me, so I'm not going to worry about it. If I move it closer, it may, uh, or it will defrost eventually. But, uh, yeah, let's, let's give it 30 minutes. We'll see if it defrosts. Hey, it did defrost. All right, let's go ahead and have the, the broth. That's fairly healthy for me. And we'll have a tomato. All right, that's really all I can do. So let's just go to sleep about midnight.
Unmanageable pain. Let's see if we wake up with a pus-filled infection. Do you want to sleep? <laughs> yes. Come on, green thing. Go away, bad green thing. Full health. 330. We got it. We got it. It went away. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I can't tell you how rough that third attempt was, but I am super stupid happy that we actually managed to get out of it. I'll have to go back and rewatch the beginning of this particular run because I was pretty goddamn sure this one was going to go to hell. Right about the time that I stumbled into what I thought was going to be my safish area, and we spotted both acid ants and fungus. <laughs> right, about, right about here. <laughs> uh, that's why I play the hard stuff. You can't have miracle saves without, uh, without miracle deaths and miracle difficulties. So, there you go. We have successfully conquered the hard start. Daytime start, double zombie spawns with uh, infected status and uh, RNG just insisting and insisting and insisting that it wanted to mess with me that entire run. Sticking shock zombies in front of me constantly, open the door and get shocked, get just everything that just kept happening. Yeah, what mutation? Oh, we got hooves! Yay! We got a terrible, terrible mutation! <laughs> This is what I meant when I, at the start of the episode, when I was talking about genetic downward spiral and it, and the, uh, all mutations you receive are negative. <laughs> we get hooves. Now the hooves is bad. My heelys are gone. <laughs> I think we, uh, I think it broke my heelys when we got the hooves. Yeah. The heelys just got destroyed. <laughs> my socks and my heelys just went poof, but we got hooves. I'm okay with that. Hooves give me an extra free attack. So, it's one of the technically bad, but actually has some pretty good uses. Now, we don't have a lot of strength, so we're not going to get a lot of damage out of the hooves. But, uh, they'll come in handy. And we can't uh, protect them from warmth and all that, but uh, I can deal with it. So, there you go. We got hooves out of our first genetic downward spiral. We did get rid of the, uh, the infection during the nighttime. We got full health. We're famished, we're in a little bit of pain, but uh, all in all, this puts us in a really good position. We also have a decent amount of starting gear and tools. We've got a really nifty vehicle waiting for us just up the road here, and um, we're free to do whatever we need to do. We do have a school just down the road. I, I hear they have libraries. I've been told. Little birdies have whispered in my ears that uh, schools sometimes have a few books. So... If uh, Korg or Aptornum are still around, um, <laughs> do schools uh, teach magic? Or am I going to find uh, magic books in the school? Supposedly it's any of the normal book sources. I'm just kind of curious if um, I'm going to go to a school library and get a whole bunch of magic books. Uh, car plus school equals clearable. It was more pertinent or correct in the past. The schools are now three-story buildings and with a totally different layout. It's a little tougher to do the, uh, do the Pied Piper routine and pull all the zombies out of the school. This one here is in a pretty good position, though. Lots of open space and road around it. Um, the entrance is here. The library is also there, but on the third floor. So ideally, I need to, um, I like going in this window here, because just down the hallway in the central area here is a stair that goes pretty much right up to the library. So if I can go in that window fairly cleanly, I can pop right up to the library, scoop it, and then run. My issue currently is I have no carry capacity, so I, I try to go through the school rooms to grab some backpacks, little kitty backpacks, so that I can fill up with books. So, hooves make more noise? Ah, maybe. I, I, I don't pay much attention to the sound that I make when I'm moving around. Um, it's one of the least things that you have to worry about <laughs> when you're uh, maneuvering. It is important. It has its place. But it's not something I pay all that much attention to or, or try to restrict all that much. I just don't think it has enough of an effect to be all that worrisome. 
Okay, so what are we going to do? We're going to wear the blanket. Then we're going to go... Well, I have to make some decisions now. But I've got to... Um, i got to reset my brain now. I've been in frantic uh, get antibiotics at any cost mode for the last four hours. So now I have to uh, reorient myself and think about what I'm going to do here. Nah, it's not necessary. I'll, I'll pick up lots of backpacks in the uh, the school. I usually end up with six or seven of them, uh, just sweeping through the various rooms real quick. Now that I don't have my movement speed bonus, though, the hooves mean I can't do the rollerblading thing, so we're going to have an issue there. I'm going to be back to the slow movement rate, so i got to reorient my mind there. That's the other thing I tend to get a lot of in schools, is lots of rollerblades and roller skates, so... Backpacks, roller skates, and roller blades, and books. Pretty easy to get in the school. Um, so unless the hooves mutate away, which is possible. It is possible they'll mutate another direction. Uh, to something that still allows me to wear the uh, those blades. But I'm going to have to get used to that. Um, do we... I don't have any other magic books yet. I don't have a good enough food supply that I can just turtle up and uh, practice magic missile to make it more effective. Um, we've got a little town here. We know there are a couple of dangerous-ish zombies, but we've fairly well looted out the whole thing. We've got a spider basement and a gamer basement. Um, and these two houses are fairly well cleared. We've got clean roads and no sign of, um, anything nearby. I'm not averse to going back to our starting city. Um, I mean, it's chock full of bookstores. What did we count? Like four or five bookstores plus the, uh, the school? So, a lot of book possibilities. And the guy is kind of geared to books. I mean, we've got a fairly high intelligence of 13, plus bookworm and fast reader. Um, so, he's geared that direction. So, how do I want to do this? I haven't gotten any real good combat gear or armor. We've got enough gas that I think we can semi-reliably get it gassed up a little further. <laughs> Suit up and blast spiders with magic missile? Uh, depends on which kinds of spiders. Uh, I didn't look to see which kind that one has. And um, I still got to keep them off of me while I'm casting. They're going to move around. I don't have a glass window I can cast through or anything like that. And it takes an awful lot of magic missiles. They're only doing three and four points. Currently, oops, and the uh, fail rates dropping, we're down to 32%, <laughs> phase doors 59%, but um, yeah, four damage each at 50 mana per, with a 32% fail rate, that's that's a lot of casting to try to kill the, uh, kill the spiders, and there's going to be too many of them down there for that. We're not quite geared up for spiders yet. So. How long to cast? It's just one turn. One round. Uh, I can phase door, but phase door is not controlled. It's a random teleport. So uh, I would have to cast it continuously and be bouncing around when it didn't fail. <laughs> It's still got a more than 50% fail chance. When it didn't fail, it then teleports me a random direction. With enough cast, I could probably get into a bank vault. But um, that would be a nighttime kind of thing to try to do. As far as I know, they don't make any sound or anything like that. So... It'd be pretty fool funny to get into an uh, early bank vault and get some RM-13 combat armor. That would be awesome. I could care less about full power armor. That would be useless for now. But uh, some RM-13 would be pretty cool. Most of the rest of the stuff I'd get in a bank I wouldn't really use right now. Too early. So I'm mainly deciding how much time do I want to spend in this little hamlet here. Do I put an effort in to kind of kill the local zombies? Now that we're not racing, I'm not a combat-oriented toon. Meaning I don't have any martial arts, I don't have any melee weapon trainings, we've got a low strength character. Uh, we're not home free from the infection yet either, so we're in the recovering from infection stage. So we're going to be recovering from infection for, 
I don't know what exactly what time it was when we recovered, but it's like four times longer than you were infected is how long the recovering stage is. So we were infected, I'm assuming, a little more than a day. So it's going to be several days before we fully recover from the infection. Um, so we're going to be dealing with the, uh, the negatives for a while yet. It'll slowly decrease over time. But right now we're getting a strength and dex negative and we're getting pain. So normally we would wake up with no pain, but because of the... Uh, recovery from infection we've got pain so but we're down stats so that's an issue for a little bit yet yeah. I'm not really in a combat efficient mode unless I can really really crank up the magic missile and do some maneuvering and kill some local zombies with it but I don't have a good weapon crowbar is already bent don't want to be firing the glock and just adding zombies to the crowd with the uh, wander spawns we do have the vehicle I could use it to run some things over I think I really like the idea that we've got the gamer basement here with a decent supply of water and raw materials for the early game stuff. Forest north of us to get some pine needles if I can get my survival and cooking skill up. Almost no books though. I'm tempted to make a run at the, the books in the school library. That would pretty well set me up. If I could scoop up all the books in the school library, I would be more than happy to uh, just settle up in a basement somewhere for a week of game time, smashing through books and uh, training the magic spells, get the uh, magic missile up a level or two. How long does it actually take? Uh, I don't think it tells me directly. Let's see here. Move you there. Start the fire. I don't know. Uh, all right, so if I try to study magic missile, yeah, I don't, I don't know how long it's going to take. I haven't played the med, the mod yet, so I don't really have a feel for how long. If I say yes to this, is it going to take a day <laughs> for level two to three? I really don't have a feel for how long it might take for me to do this. I, I don't know how long. I need to prepare for having food and water and such handy. I do this, by the way, with the activate command on the uh, the beginner's guide to magic. So activate the guide, and then you can pick to study a spell after you do the initial learning, as opposed to the spell casting key, which you have to create a hotkey for, which lets you actually use the spells you've learned. So for anybody starting to use the mod, that's that's how that's working. Activate the guide or the magic book to uh, study and gain levels in a particular spell and then use your spell casting key to actually cast the spells. Choose a letter between A and D. Actually A to E. <laughs> uh, I choose D. <laughs> Delta. Let's go with code Delta. Do, do. Um, I think before I make a decision, I'm gonna take a quick break. We're four hours in, big victory. Let me um, let me go refresh the water supply and uh, refresh the legs, and then we'll come back and we'll uh, we'll continue this. I'm giving serious thought to doing a school raid. Let me know what you think. Would it be better to do that and then hunker down, or is it better to? Um, Semi clear out the town a bit. Drive up the road slightly and check out what this area looks like with the vehicle and the binoculars. Get it, get the area scoped. We do have an LMOE shelter kind of hiding down here as well. So let me know in the chat what you uh, what you think your preferences would be, what you would do next in this particular position. We're not in any real danger. It won't be any problem for me to get back to the vehicle. Um, I'll grab up the gear and we'll run back up to it. So, But uh, let me take my quick break, then I'll check comments when I get back. 